Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you all how to use Python to generate all the combinations of a binary value. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say I want to print out all the combinations of a two-digit binary value. How do I do that? So we can actually do it manually because 2 to the power of 2 is four combinations only. So 0, 0, and then 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Four combinations, quite simple, easy to do. Now let's say I want a, combina a combination, all the combinations of a three-digit binary value. So 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so 8 combinations. So we first write 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 0, 1, and so on, 8 combinations. Still easy to do, right? Now let's say I want a, all the combinations of an 8-digit binary value. Now 2 to the power of 8 is 256 values. That's quite difficult to write manually so what we can do is we can ask python to do it for us so let's see how we can do this i'm going to leave this list down here so that i can help explain uh, the code better later on so let's first start coding we first import the module iter tools and then we import another module called tabulate from tabulate import tabulate now tabulate is not a built-in Python library, so you need to use pip install tabulate to actually install it. Okay, so now we create a variable called com, and then inside iter tools there is a function called product. Now product will help us generate all the combinations by returning an iterator. But to do that, we need to pass in two values to the function product. The first one is for which values are we creating the combinations so since it's a binary value the only two options is 0 and 1 so we pass that as a list and then the second value it requires is how many times will it be repeated basically it's asking us that how long is your binary value so we want a binary value of three digits so we pass in three so remember, if you want a binary value of 8 digits, you pass in the value 8 as a repeat. So let's save this. And one more thing is this product function is returning an iterator, right? So we want to actually be able to read all our combinations. So we pass in the iterator inside the list function. Then it will list out all the combinations for us. Let me print this out and let me delete this so that my code can run. Let me save and run this. Okay, so you can see that all the combinations have been listed out as tuples. Quite, that's what we wanted, right? But the issue here is it's very difficult for us to read this and also quite difficult for us to copy and paste it into a text file or an Excel file. So how can we do this? We want a more ta uh, tabular structure. So I'm sure most of you have guessed it. We're going to use the tabulate module to convert this list of tuples into a tabular structure. So com is equal to tabulate. Inside the tabulate function, we pass in the list com. So just remember that here com is a list and then here we're converting it into a tabular structure. Another thing I want to do is I want to actually add some space between the values and the columns I mean. So com is equal to com dot replace and we replace the spaces with a tab. So now let's save this and let's run this. Let's see what we get. See, there you go. This was the initial list of tuples, which was quite difficult for us to read. And now we have a more tabular structure, so it's much easier for us to read. And we can also copy and paste it easily into an Excel file or a text file. So it's quite a useful piece of code. Now, let me show you what will happen if you pass in the value 8. I want to show you all the 256 combinations. So we pass in 8 as a repeat and then we run this again. There you go. You see, all the 
256 combinations have been printed out. So you see the, uh, the number of digits for each value is 8 and there are 256 combinations. It's quite a long list. Now imagine if you had had to write it manually, it would have taken forever. But Python did it in less than a second. So I think this is a pretty useful piece of code, especially uh, printing out all the combinations. And remember that it's not only for binary values, you can also print out combinations for different characters like A, B, C, or uh, any other digits like 1, 2, 3, and so on. And the other important function is the tabulate function, which helps us to convert the list into a table structure, which is also quite important if we want to transfer our output into a text file and save it. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you have, please do like and share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions, if you have not understood something, please comment below and I'll, have, I'll try to reply back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.